Hello, hello, every single one of you. I'm Pallavi Valya Raj. And you know what? Today, I want to just urge each and every one of you to be that billion dollar you. Because each and every one of us has that unlimited potential to really, um, you know, live our greatness, so to speak, and to be a billion dollar us, all right? So in this uh, particular, um, I can't call it a series, but on the way to becoming a billion dollar you, there are a few things that I think are very, very important to us as human beings. Um, and I personally feel that every single one of us has a voice, every single one of us has an expression, every single one of us would love to uh, stand for the things that we really do stand for and speak them out and communicate effectively, really reach out with a message. It's, you know, not just uh, people who are MCs or not just people who are trainers or coaches or speakers who actually make a difference difference and influence people. I think everyday people influence people uh, constantly, right? And that is one of the reasons why um, I just thought of answering a few questions that I keep getting a lot of time. So let's maybe start with this particular question about this one word called energy. Okay, it's a very dynamic word. And I'd like to focus on today, um, talking to you about why energy is really important uh, in speaking, you know, when you're speaking to another person, why is it important? And what really is energy all about? So I think one of uh, the secrets of being a really great speaker or a communicator or a trainer or a coach, whatever be the case, or even for that matter, being a really uh, uh, amazing MC is generating that high intensity uh, stage or virtual presence, if you may, right? I mean, I personally have been able to experience that. And when you do generate that, my God, uh, the sky is not the limit. Now, having um, enough energy when presenting really to uh, carry your audience along with you, because that's what you're expected to do as a good communicator. And when you get your message across, okay, to in order to get your message across, that's a very vital part of really being a good communicator or a good presenter. Um, be, you have an intention that you've set with, uh, passing that message on, you need your audience, even if it be two or three people, or if it be 10,000 people, you need your audience to understand your message with the same kind of intention, right? Now, I believe that one of the reasons why people are so often afraid of speaking or, uh, you know, um, uh, raising their voice about a particular topic or sharing their views or their opinions is because they know even subconsciously so that they are ultimately responsible for the energy in that space in that room or in that virtual space and they also are aware that they have to lead it okay they have to lead that energy and that's a real challenge if you're not really comfortable speaking out uh, with other people or speaking out in small groups, big groups, whatever it is, okay? So let's come to answering this question. What exactly is energy, okay? Energy, according to me, is subtle as well as complex encompassing both the mental and the physical uh, spheres, all right? Uh, that's what energy means. Another thing that energy is, it requires both emotional and intellectual focus, not just according to me, according to a lot of people who study energy and uh, are students of becoming better communicators, okay? Energy also means that you have to maintain self-awareness at all points in time, while also remaining highly conscious of what's actually going on around you. So you have to be really alert, okay, while uh, delivering whatever it is that you're delivering. So there is, you know, that, that self-awareness as well as being really alert and conscious, sensory acuity, as I call it, okay? So you have to literally have many more than two eyes, <laughs> okay? So that's what energy means. Now, energy is also that visible um, force. It is visible to your audience through the tone of your voice 
and of course the enthusiasm in your voice okay in that tone of your voice there is something called enthusiasm that's what energy is it's also your body language your gestures your facial expressions all of that okay you might be able to define energy as enthusiasm you might be able to define it as passion i personally prefer to call it energy because some people really struggle with the idea of having um, passion or presenting with passion they say hey it's just not uh, me you know it's not my style to kind of present with that kind of passion okay no problem they also um, some people also have this challenge of uh, with this word enthusiasm they say hey come on pallavi i mean please be realistic i cannot sound or be or feel enthusiastic when i'm talking about a dry subject like maybe banking or uh, you know some super technical stuff that will look very very ridiculous well that's their opinion that's definitely not my opinion okay so it's okay let's call it energy let's not call it enthusiasm or passion okay but using energy to connect with the people that you're speaking with small audience or large makes sense to every single one of the people that i've spoken to okay whether they are my students or whether i'm just speaking to people when we have a discussion about the same okay and uh, um that is because everybody everybody bar none has been through those really droning uh, uninspiring speakers if you have been through those kind of talks which are very droning uninspiring please try type me in the comment box whether you are watching this on youtube facebook instagram wherever you are watching this type me with a lot of ease <laughs> okay even exclamation marks okay and you and i understand that anything which is droning uninspiring is definitely not useful not useful for you not useful for the audience at all okay so why don't people speak with energy that's the main question we won't speak energetically if we are afraid one of the areas okay if we are afraid uh, that's the time we kind of retreat into our shell because that's like a perfect uh, protection uh, you know we don't want to hurt ourselves we don't want other people to judge us or evaluate us and so we protect ourselves we just kind of go into our shell if we are unsure of ourselves if we are afraid of uh, who we are that's one of the reasons why people don't have energy if we don't know our topic well enough okay that's another area big time where people lack energy okay so all the time you're then tied up thinking um what what am i supposed to be speaking next what comes next what comes after this okay or you are so scared that oh my god i'm going to be found out by my audience my audience is going to figure out that i'm not the expert or i don't know my stuff really well all those reasons can also be you know uh, putting you in a position of low energy you're also likely or rather i would say um, yeah you're also likely to have low energy if you're just kind of reading off the slides or something like that so i always keep telling my students whether they are uh, teens and tweens or young adults or much older adults that whenever you make a ppt please do not read every single word from your ppt slides that is why we say powerpoint okay not power paragraph <laughs> okay so make bullet points and then explain those points so you're not re like reading uh, word for word out of it all right so now let's come to where does your energy come from okay now if you are uh, have been listening intently and all of this has been making sense to you so far just type in the audience making uh, not in the audience sorry just type in the comment box making sense okay just type it right now whether you're watching it on youtube or facebook instagram wherever just type making sense okay so far now where does your energy really come from you get your energy from three main sources i would say okay first is you get your energy from who you are are you naturally an energetic person you're lively you're perky about most of the things that you know um you stand for or you know or you talk about well then obviously your energy will come from there it will spring from there but it does not necessarily need to be that you have to be a very very energetic person you have to be a very lively person at all times no 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 uh even if you're very sure of who you are you're an expert or you know that okay you've done a few things that is the reason why you are at that particular place in your life currently if that's the kind of person you are you really have a lot of self belief self esteem you really value yourself you love yourself you love the kind of person who you are 
that's also where your energy springs from. So that's the first place your energy springs from. Uh, from. The second place your energy springs from is what you know. Okay, so if you are a subject matter expert and you absolutely love your topic and you could talk endlessly on, you know, you could talk for hours about your topic, then yes, your energy springs from there. Okay, so what do you know? Okay, and the third thing where your energy really comes from is what are you creating? This is very crucial. What are you creating? You connect with your audience's goals. Okay, you connect with your viewers goals and the impact that you will have on them that drives your energy. What will they do differently? Or how will their perspective really shift? How will you bring about that shift in their mind? As a result of what you are telling them right now, that is a very major source of your energy as well. So the third one is, of course, what are you creating? And yes, there is an extra element like a bonus tip that I want to give you here, which also comes into the play very majorly. If you can focus and really pride yourself on getting your message across well, to your audience or to the people that you're speaking with, you can really focus and pride yourself on getting your message across really well to the people that you're speaking to. That, I'm telling you, if everything else also fails, this one point will really, really help you turn up the dial as far as your energy is concerned. So, hey, these are areas that your energy comes from. So focus on these areas. If you have been listening intently and you um, resonate with me, type energy with a lot of Y's if you'd like <laughs> in the comment box right now. Type energy, all right? And uh, I must tell you that in our voice, like the word voice, the E really stands for energy for me, okay? Energy is that verbal oomph if you may, okay, it is that self belief that you deliver in your performance, whether it is uh, you, you speaking to virtu uh, people virtually via your phone, uh, just a message, whether you're speaking over a call to somebody, whether you're speaking from stage, whether you're speaking in a small group, and you really want to be able to fire this group up. E stands for that oomph, that energy, that that uh, energy in your voice, that self-belief, okay? So that's what it stands for. And your energy will really be determined by many, many things uh, in your voice, which could be intonation, it could be the gaps that you take, the pauses, it could be the volume at which you speak. If you're very, very non-energetic, then you might probably end up speaking very soft, but you don't want to be like that, all right? It could be the animated way of speaking. It could also be the pace at which you're speaking. Instead of speaking really, really low, it could be, you know, that, hey, you're kind of telling it in a story format. You're, you're telling it in such a way that, hey, the audience will have to be interested in something like this because you're just saying it in that manner, okay? There is definitely that something special um, that's added to the mix when you really focus on your energy. So you could have the perfect content and all of that, but when you add that energy bit in, oh my God, it just goes to the next level. And without any energy, without enough energy, I would say, a, a speaker, a communicator with the most powerful and emotional words can really come across as dull, dim-witted, even sarcastic for that matter, or just plain boring. And that's not how you want to come across. So the words from a low energy speaker really have a very serious risk of uh, lacking any kind of credibility. They will not really want to listen to you. They will not um, attach all those, uh, you know, laurels to your name that you've actually mentioned that you have achieved. And they will probably start questioning, how did this person achieve this? This person isn't even able to keep me uh, switched on for five minutes, seven minutes or 10 minutes. Okay. So that's that's what happens when you have no energy but having energy as a speaker is really all about being uh, yourself being authentic but being yourself deliberately amplified because a lot of times we think oh my god you know this is too much energy but hey listen you need to have that 
little extra energy because while speaking sometimes we tend to our energy tends to dip a little bit so you must amplify being yourself don't uh, be somebody else be yourself but amplify it a little and of course that um, amplification of your energy needs to be based on what kind of an audience are you speaking to what is the uh, occasion that you're speaking um, at or for that matter what is the size of the room that you're speaking to all of that also definitely uh, allows you to alter your energy accordingly okay and if physics interests you please consider isaac newton's third law for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction which basically means that if you speak with sufficient energy your audiences will most certainly return the favor with high level of engagement and interest my folks i think that is when you've really won their hearts okay so you can think in terms of energy uh, you can think in terms of an energy field or or a bubble if you want to uh, it's like enclosing yourself as well as your audience your entire audience in that bubble in that energy field your job is to fill that bubble with enough vocal energy and with enough animation enthusiasm to allow everyone in that bubble or in that energy field to feel extremely connected so connected to you as a speaker and connected to each other as partakers of all that uh, knowledge or that sharing okay and if you as a speaker are not excited then obviously uh, you know not excited about anything about an idea about an opinion then obviously your uh, audience will not be excited either so you definitely must work take note of the word work on your audience and if you are uh, watching me right now and you're really liking whatever you're listening please type work okay because you must uh, yeah type work into the comment box all right because when you work your audience to ponder over items that are being discussed that's when we say that uh, people are most en engaged they are most energized it is when they have to engage their minds okay while they're listening to you as well so when when you really work your audience that's when you will get the most out of them and that's when they will get the most out of you as a communicator as a speaker or a trainer or whatever it may be so the greatest asset in conclusion okay i want to say this the greatest asset that any speaker communicator trainer coach mc host content creator can have is energy the greatest asset that you can have as a negotiator in any relationship as spouses uh, or as you know parent child or as a boss and subordinate or as employee and employer blah 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 and in any sphere the greatest asset that you can have is energy because at all times you are communicating okay you can actually flavor whatever it is that you're saying with many colors many hues from a whisper to a shout all right that's how powerful energy can be you can define your type of energy as a passion or as an enthusiasm or as that fire within you or as that fire within your belly so please my my earnest request to use uh, to you is use that fire within yourself use that fire in your belly because using that fire the most trivial message becomes mesmerizing and without that fire the most powerful words will fall unheard my friends so that's what i wanted to share with you about what really energy is and why as communicators and speakers we must have that kind of energy if you've liked what you've heard please uh, type in the comment box right now highest energy wins okay just type that highest energy wins you can even type h e w q that is h e w highest energy wins it most certainly does always and every single time all right i'm pallavi valia raj i'm going to leave you right now and of course i'm going to see you with another lovely piece of content uh, going forward because i really want each of us to be billion dollar asses okay so you focus on being the billion dollar you i'm going to focus on being the billion dollar me and that's how we're going to grow please follow me on um, youtube i have my own channel it goes by the name pallavi valia raj please follow me on instagram as well as on facebook 
Facebook. Again, the name is Pallavi Valia Raj on Twitter as well as Pallavi Valia Raj. Mwah. I love you guys. Thank you very much for showering all your love on me and keep it really energetic. Highest energy wins, guys. Ciao, over and out for now.